All right, it's that time of year again, you guys. It's 2024, and guess what that means? Our official race day event is just right around the corner. May 11th, Silverback Off-Road Speedway in Mears, Michigan. We're doing it again. If you've heard of this event or been to this event, you know it's a great time. If you haven't, let me tell you quick what it's all about. It's got all sorts of events for everybody with every machine and anything you can think of. Come on out, we've got outlaw racing, we got bracket racing, we got short course racing, and you know what, we have a four wide test and tune. Come on out and just have a great time, you guys. Seriously, hang out with us, enjoy it. You know, come out with your family and friends. Spectators are 100% free. What can you miss out coming out? So it's always been a great time. Like, you gotta, you just gotta come out. Come out and see it. Also, there's been some rule changes, so check out the Facebook page for that. Maverick R is back. Oh yeah. Matt, he never left. He's still here. Uh, big, right now. big, big day for this thing. Uh -huh. Big horsepower incoming. So over I've been three, told man. over three thousand horsepower, Matt. Almost thirty thousand horsepower. Thirty thousand horsepower. At the pistons, though. So like, oh. when it comes down to it, at the tires, it's gonna be, I don't know, like fifty. Fifty-ish. Fifty-ish. Yeah. We'll see. It's like yeah, it's like thirty-five thousand at the valves. But then at the crank, it's like, uh, what, 347-ish? 347, I like to round up to 350. So yeah, yep. th this okay. thing is going on E85. Okay, okay, okay. And it's gonna have pops and banks for real this time. Oh boy, launch control. And launch control. <laughs> so in order to make that happen, Evolution Power Sports sets it up. Yep, okay. So Ooh. you simply have to just send them in your fuel pump Okay. And they put this billet. I'm sorry, my phone's ringing. Real sorry. Oh, Nicholas Seuss is calling me. Should we talk to him? Let's, see what he's Let's just take a minute. Hey, Nicholas Seuss. Hey, what up? <laughs> what, what's up? Hey, we're uh, we're tuning your uh, Maverick R to 35,000 horsepower at least. Oh, oh Fred. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll get this done real quick, and then I'll call you back in a minute. All right, hey, hey. see you around. All right, man, bye. All right, <laughs> All right so you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Evolution Power Sports really sets it up nice. So literally all you have to do besides the tune to get 350 horsepower. Just a big number. Is send in your fuel pump, and then they okay. set it all up for you. So you got this super nice billet hat now you've got a rising rate uh fuel pressure regulator okay some kind of i assume this is a filter like super nice sort. billet and then uh, i believe filter. it's uh aem don't quote me on that but it's a sure. 340 big dog LPH pump. pump moving so moving some fuel yeah you get that okay you get a harness to supply it some more power okay and of course you know you send in your ecu and you get your Mavar X85 oh, yeah. launch control tune on there. So, man. Yeah, pretty much just want to get to it. So, to get to 350 horsepower on a Maverick R, literally all you're doing is pulling the fuel pump, sending it to Evo, having it modded, and doing a tune, and you got 350 horsepower in launch control. Yep. No wastegate adjustments, no fuel injector replacements, no spark plug gapping. Man. Not even aftermarket exhaust is required for this stuff. That is And you can just make humongous power. That is pretty nuts. So I think that's right. the highest on the market. Like I don't think anything with a unless altering the motor. Like that's the highest number I've heard of. Yeah, with just tune. Tune and fuel pump 350 horsepower. <laughs> yeah and it's pretty wild because this engine should take it. Like if you guys don't remember compared to an X3 this engine is all new. You yep. know it's got threaded rods instead it's basically got head studs from the factory it's closed deck so the cylinder walls are super strong forged just, internals it's just beefed way up mm -hmm. compared to an x3 so it should be able to handle this power well no problem more cc's too right yeah it's a little bit bigger six uh, injectors uh, yeah you got two injectors <laughs> per cylinder like well it's wild we will put uh, the durability to the test here momentarily so all right matt's gonna throw the fuel pump in throw the ecu in throw the wires in and uh we're gonna rip this sucker that's it let's just get to it let's do it
uh, you know, we said you can run stock exhaust, which you can, but that's not really our style. So Mike's gonna whip up something uh, just a little more fun. I think we'll save the details on that for when it's when it's done. <laughs> You're just gonna have to see that. We need to be able to hear the power. Michael P. Reed Racing really came in clutch here we'll with this sucker. How it is. It'll be fine. Boy's getting this custom exhaust. Yeah, this is but. A... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, having that flex in there was probably not the smartest idea, huh? I think it's really gonna add to the effect, you know? So, custom tuned length uh, exhaust. <laughs> I can't even. I can't. I can't even say it. Uh, well, you know what? We'll be able to hear the horsepower now. Should we start? No it? problem. Is it time to start it? I feel like that's the next we can start it. Yeah. On the list. I think we should start it. Okay. Yeah. It's take a minute to build fuel pressure. Okay. Okay. Oh. oh my God. <laughs> no. No way. Dude. You know what's one thing we forgot about? Maybe What's that? Draining the fuel out of the rail. Oh, so it's 85 fine. tune on the 93. It'll just sound just like a she'll be a little, seconds. she'll be a little rich. That's why it's going to run a little bad. All right, no worries. We'll work it out. Oh boy. It's going to be throaty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's already so loud. Idling. It's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, this is going to be ridiculous. That turbo is screaming. It's already so loud just Ooh. sitting here idling. Yeah, we'll let her warm up for a bit. Let's just, yeah, let's hear a couple reps. for sure. MPR exhaust just killing it out here. <laughs> Imagine that sucker on diesel. Oh, that oh, is gonna be nuts. See, so, yeah, go to the parts site and get these n <laughs> never code side by side oh, blog. Thousand percent discount. Let's MSRP. Easily three thousand dollars. At least thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> Get it up on the diamond. Should we, yeah, just, you know, it's right there. Just put it right there. See what happens. Let's hear Probably this thing. Should. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Boy, Maverick R loaded up on the dyno with the E85 tune, with the pops and bangs, with the custom MPR exhaust. Yep. We're about to make some noise here, boys. I'm excited for this, man. It, this thing just keeps getting cooler and cooler the more <laughs> stuff you do to it, just like anything else, but this is gonna be a big number for a stock car. I think so. So the thing's strapped down, obviously, you know, it's not warmed up yet. We're gonna run it, we're gonna put some heat into it. It's on a fresh tune that hasn't been driven at all yet. So there's a learning process. We'll probably make a couple runs before it results in our, uh, in our best number. Of course, this is not an ideal setup. Either we're on the knobby tires, which also causes some issues, but we want a clean 
A to B because we have dynoed this thing before in its stock configuration. Yes, so this thing holds the record on our dyno. There for she is. Stock machine horsepower. 191.05 horse ponies to the wheel. Yeah. Just like this. And uh, we're going to run it and see how much bigger we can make that number yep. at and the end of the day. Just a quick note. I believe the stock horsepower that Evo got out of theirs was 210-ish. Yep. So that kind of shows you, you know, our dyno, our configuration, the tires and stuff like that is about a 19 horsepower deficit. So keep that in mind. Dyno's all different, you know, everybody says it, but truth be told, this one has traditionally been a heartbreaker, but you know, we've got that baseline, so we're gonna warm this thing up, we're gonna rip it. I think we made this run in fifth gear. We're trying to remember, so we'll hit it in fifth. Uh, if it doesn't line up, we'll, we'll hit it in fourth, but I think it's gonna be a fifth gear pull with some heat in the motor. A with a noise. custom exhaust, a lot of noise. Oh, wow. You boys ready for this? I just want to hear it. All right, Matt's going to get her warmed up here. Get some good heat in it. Let it burn a little bit. Got some heat in her it pops so hard it was throwing so much more fire than yesterday really i like so than it was idling like that yeah it's already awesome big That's fire so much fun when you click it down and it just starts banging Whew. okay all right if you're ready for a pull we're ready fifth gear right i i think so this is gonna be nuts yeah all right let's do it oh boy here we go pull number one This thing sounds crazy. It's, oh man, it's a little much. <laughs> it's a little much, but Ooh. it ripped through that gear like decisively. Yeah, it, yeah I think the number's gonna be good. I think that was a pull. All right, let's go see a number. Yep. All right, boys, we had 191 horsepower before. Uh-huh. Let's see what we got. Okay. Come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little shook I, from that. Yeah, so. honestly, like, I'm satisfied just based on the noises it makes. I barely even care what this number is. Cut. Cut, cut, cut. Whoa! Okay. No okay. Holy smokes. Not bad for a first run. All right, that's a massive difference. We're talking almost 70 at the wheels uh, on the first hit yeah and look at so the tune does more right we're talking raised rev limit and stuff look at how much further now i don't know if yeah, we were at rev limiter out. here and shut it off or maybe you know we just cut it at 70 i don't recall the last dyno run but look at the meat in that curve that it added mm -hmm. big time holy smokes big time I want to see 260. I, for, it might be a little heat soak now. You know, so. for science, I think we have to repeat this experiment yeah. for sure. But that is an impressive result. 
Should we turn the lights off for this one? Oh, yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Better air with the lights off. You don't want them photons flying in the right. exhaust, dude. <laughs> All right, here we go. I know it's a little tough to see, but it's going to be worth it. I don't think that's gonna get old, Matt. I don't oh. think that's gonna get old. My, I'm wearing hearing protectors and I still got ringing in my ears. <laughs> Holy crap. It, even when it's just that idle and the anti legs going in Sport Plus, you can feel that in your chest. Yep. Like before he's even on the throttle. Yep. All right, here we go. Backup number. Okay. We did 258 and run number one. Run number two. Please. Come on, baby. What? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Literally. You can't get much closer than that. Identical. Wow. Here's the thing. You can never, ever be mad about that. Of course, we always want to see power go up, up, up. But to make two runs back to back, have them completely overlay, put down an identical number, that's just, you know, the sign of a good working also, machine. like a fantastic number. Yeah. I mean, we didn't take guesses, but I was like, going to be happy with it in like 240. Yep. Like, I thought that was a big number. But, Whew. Yeah. All right. So, excellent numbers. Just excellent numbers. The thing is working well. The one thing I remember from the last time we dynoed this is we checked top speed, right? Because these mm -hmm. things are known to be top speed monsters. They'll show you 104 on the speedometer and what we found was that wasn't completely accurate right the calibrated drum says at 104 105 on the speedometer i think we actually hit 94 yeah before top speed pull that up yeah so there's that there one. we go so this one's all choppy because we ran it through the gears right so you get all these peaks and valleys when when you hit your shifts and then we achieved yeah 94 miles an hour yeah 94 miles an hour top speed tapped out seventh gear now we have a raised rev limiter That's so yeah it, first through seventh i i'm curious you know Sometimes. how's the transmission tune work do we have any more top speed we, we need to know these answers mm -hmm. all right <laughs> one more pull <laughs> say like i don't know who was watching i did peek at the live data for the top speed as it was happening i don't want to say it you don't want to know <laughs> oh my god I, what what did the speedometer tell you matt it told me 121 <laughs> so, <laughs> that's crazy all right let's see what the data says now like this is no playing around this is a calibrated piece of equipment so we get a mile per hour from this. Like, it's this, yeah. it's a real deal. The speed is what it is. This is gonna be a real number. Oh boy. Oh boy. Matt, what do we got? 112. 100, yeah, yeah. 112 miles an hour. Yeah, versus 94 stuff. Yeah. 
like like a real 112 miles an hour that like, is nuts and look at the i mean we got the gear shift spikes yeah but <laughs> look at the number but the differential is is crazy so yeah like 198 stock versus 273 yep and look at like just how much more power there is there's so much and more area under that curve out. she just keeps going and honestly you know is, it's crisp. That, that's a real number that number is a little inflated because it's going through the shifts so okay. some of those spikes result in a higher number which aren't necessarily yeah, like, like the real spike. deal data so what first second third yep so like that fourth gear shift spikes the horsepower up a little bit gotta say you know along with obviously being a much higher curve showing much more power showing much more top speed 18 mile an hour increase in top speed the nature of the curve is also much nicer looking you see the stock one like it's hitting its shifts but it's also doing a bunch of sort of crazy stuff in yeah, between it's true. hunting it's thinking it's pulling power it's managing power on this tune it's just bang bang boom pow wow yeah i didn't even think of that like because some of like this here is kind of like a false like kind of in between gears or something yep yeah that's a gun so, mess compared to now yeah i mean you get a little bit here and there but this car that's... is ripping boys yeah pretty much the next thing we need to do immediately is test the launch control oh 1000 percent. i'm forgetting with all this excitement that it now has launch control <laughs> yep maybe the most exciting part we haven't even tapped into yet yeah. Whew. Just all, right. all right all right all right <laughs> first little drive here this is this is gonna be crazy so I'm expecting good things he's gonna get her fully up to temp it's got to have four bars of temperature before the launch control works they make yeah. sure everything's all ready to ready to rip you know before you rip so he's putting some heat in it and we're gonna see this launch control in action it's gonna be crazy <laughs> crazy oh my god it already sounds crazy where is he he's over here oh boy I can't even tell the sounds echoing it's coming from everywhere Wow! Big wow! Was facing away from us there. <laughs> yeah. It was still nutty. Like it shifted oh tires God. and started spinning again. <laughs> It just makes all the noises. Absolutely all the noises. Wow! Wow! Oh. <laughs> it's so rowdy sounding. It's so rowdy. power you know it's cold out here so traction somewhat limited Yeah, I'm gonna I, try launching it now. Yeah, I, I feel like based on your reaction, you're telling us it rips. Uh, Two-wheel drive on pavement is basically uncontrollable. Can't drive it. <laughs> you can't do it. All right, we're gonna go down to that corner so uh, exhaust is pointed pointed this way and launch it that way. Sound good? Uh, launch it this way. From that corner, yep. Got it. We're all gonna go down there. I think I can do that. All right, sounds good. All right, here we go. This is an adjustable launch control. We got it set up for 3,800 RPM. 
We'll see what that does. Gear like two foot out. That sucker left. Wow. Wow. Hey, one, one more of those. That is nasty. Exactly what that machine needed. It did, man. Gosh dang. Alright. That's officially a beast now. He's officially fired up. That's officially a beast. I say let's go. Let's go inside where it's warm. Okay. <laughs> it's tough out here. It's tough out here. We'll get out of the wind. Holy smokes, dude. Holy smokes! Okay. This thing has like fully morphed into its rally car esque identity with that tune and that power and that launch control and that custom exhaust. <laughs> Just an absolute, total, complete transformation. Yeah. This thing was already pretty good. But now it's just, it's got the excitement that yep. you want in a machine like this. Yep. It's so cool. The launch control works great. Uh, it's configurable, by the way, any RPM you want. We were doing 3,800 right there. Yep. So, and that's without any sort of tuners or anything like, the launch control is really cool. <sighs> that uh, is wild. And the power and the shift, the transmission tune that Evo puts on this is miles ahead of what was already a really good transmission tune. That's if that pretty makes sense. awesome. It's not like, it actually, my biggest problem with this thing was always, if you run into some traction issues, which you do in the dirt, it'll shift up a gear and then you're in the wrong gear. Yep. This thing seems like it, it this new transmission tune seems to allow a little bit of like an over rev or something like that and lets it catch traction before it upshifts. Yep. So then it just pew, more keeps power, going. more RPM, helps everything. This is this is interesting. With these Maverick cars when they came out, you know, they're obviously very complicated, very high tech, DCT transmission, all this wild stuff going on. So like it felt like maybe a machine that was going to be difficult to modify or wasn't going to take to mods super well. Maybe you're gonna be just kind of stuck with how it is. Turns out it loves mods. Turns out Evo has figured out exactly what they need and it's actually super simple to do yeah e85 like with just a fuel pump swap yep 350 horsepower at the crank yep nuts i mean it's not quite that much but <sighs> it's just wild how like the gains you can get with almost no effort very simple mods no effort Phew. Way better well, car. I feel like for science, we should set the launch RPM to like 5,800 and just put it up real quick and just listen to it yes. inside the building. See what it sounds like. Inside the building. Yeah. For acoustics. But don't let yeah, go we're good. Break. Don't let go of the brake, ideally, because, you know. But what will it do? It's like two step test. Probably, you know, just uh, four really concentrate. <clears throat> Okay. We need to see that in dirt at some point. Okay. All right. This that's yeah, that's bad. awesome. A little bit bad doing that. That's awesome. <laughs> but, uh, All right. Man. So that's going to be it for today. It's super cold. It's super terrible outside. Uh, this is going to be back very soon in the dirt, doing some drag racing, little Comparo, just straight up ripping it. Yeah. It's going to have to be next time because I got to get out of here for the day. And uh, and the it's weather's just terrible. Seven too. below zero and. So. 80 yeah, mile an hour wind, I so. Can't wait for that. Whew. 
well yeah big thanks to evo for hooking up this badass tune and uh mike reed mpr racing for this exhaust <laughs> oh beautiful what a beast that chrome paint though that's really the star, of the star of the show here all right hey we'll see you guys soon see you later okay so mike had to leave when we were putting the exhaust on and he hasn't seen any of it yet the logo placement he hasn't seen how it sounds so you guys put a logo on him no <laughs> Oh, we had to throw your initials in there, Mike Reed, because oh, it's great work and you deserve credit for the work that you've done. So we put your initials on it so everyone would know that that was your creation. Yeah, and in case we didn't say oh. it enough, those are Mike's initials. Yeah, that's, that, those are my initials. If anybody doesn't know, it's Michael Patrick Reed, so those are my initials. Don't steal his identity. I kind of like it. Like, you know, everybody gets to stamp their little logos on theirs. I'm always getting to stamp mine, right? <coughs> Now you have your own uh, line of exhaust systems. Oh, let's hear this thing. I gotta, okay. I gotta hear this thing quick. I didn't get to see any of this. Like I had to leave last minute, so. Oh. It just, man, it's got so much turbo sound to it. Oh yeah, a ton of turbo sound. Oh, Past yeah. the ear piercing, your ears are bleeding sound, but it yeah. was it was fully warmed up, by the way. I love it. And I love the placement of the logo. I couldn't think of a better spot for that uh, <laughs> that logo to go either. So I mean, it's got to be in your face, right? So mission accomplished. Good job, boys. Good job. <laughs> <laughs>